What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Today we have a typical British classic easy tea time meal. So we'll have chips, sausage, eggs, beans, and I've got a lovely hot, well warm, crusty bun out the um, oven. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, me drink, I've just got this guys because I've been drinking loads of water. I've been trying to do at least three of these a day. I mean, the massive bottles. So I've just got water. I also have other drinks, but I'm definitely trying to get three of these down my neck every day just to rehydrate myself because I think since Christmas, you only just feel like you've aged like 10 years. <laughs> It'll be all the drinking and everything and all the foods you've been eating. So I want to just get plenty water in us. Um, this is the first meal I'm having today guys. I've been trying to um, obviously drink my water through the day and have a lovely big meal on a tea time. Uh, what did we do yesterday? Yesterday I done that but I literally had two of these buns with um, chicken breast cut into chunks with mayonnaise and samyang sauce. So I literally just had two of them buns with chicken breast mayo and samyang yesterday. It was delicious but I felt like it was quite easy so I'm going to try and do that every day guys wait for me tea and have I'm not like calorie count not anything for me tea time um I'm having what I want for me tea but this will be my only meal see how I go anyway um so yeah these are just crinkle fries I've done these in the um air fryer tastes really nice in the air fryer and my beans I always put a little bit curry powder in my beans lovely Amp it up a bit. Mm. So yes, um, I think it was Helen Banks. Hiya Helen. You wanted this. I think you said your mum used to always make it for your tea. And I thought, oh, I haven't had that for ages. And we like simple teas like this as well. It's just a classic, isn't it? Classic tea. Um, I'm going to load one of these buns up. I've got two buns, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to cut. One of these sausages lengthways. Hope you're doing okay everyone. I felt a bit um, dodgy today if I'm being honest. Had a bit of a headache. This is not going to cut is it? Without knocking the board. Um, yeah, not knowing you feel like you've got a dry throat. I've done it um, lateral flow and it's negative but I'm obviously going to keep doing them. I'm going to do one after this tonight because I done the other one last night. Um, just keep an eye on it. I know bugs are going round anyway. My friend's got a sore throat at the moment and um, she says it's like razor blades. She'd done a PCR test. Her and her daughter um, came back negative. So obviously there is. It's not all about the dreaded C, is it? You can still get normal colds, flus, sore throats. Anyways, I think I'm just going to put a whole egg in one of these guys. So sausage and egg. <laughs> oh, oh, oh that's gonna pop and we'll get some beans in as well eh curried beans yum and this is gonna slop all over and push them chips forward and then i can what am i doing man what am i doing ready The dripping. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yum e. Heaven, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Haven't had this tea for ages. Wow. So I've literally done nothing all day. Oh, and another reason why I've done the uh, test because the people who were out with on New Year's Day were friends. <coughs> Victoria and her son Archie tested positive the next day. So we've done a test and one negative. Um, but yeah, that's another reason I want to keep an eye on it just in case. I'm okay when I take some tablets. I've been taking... Um, 
paracetamol and some ibuprofen and I had some strepsils in the cupboard as well so once they're in it I feel totally fine but when the four hours wears off I can feel my throat like getting sore again and that's the main only symptom really sore throat a little bit of a like irritating cough but that's it mm. I wonder how my head's been pounding huh So fingers crossed I stay negative, guys. Mmm. Kenny and Ellis done one as well and then were negative, so. Mmm. This is delicious. You forget how nice, like, simple little meals like this are. Try and do, like, fancy things and the um, old classics are just as tasty. Definitely try some curry and your beans, though, guys. They're lovely. Mmm. So I suppose if I keep on doing this, it'll be like that, um, you know, when you do the fasting. I suppose it'll just be like that, won't it? As long as you're not, like, depriving yourself of what you fancy, you're not going to feel like you're really... I don't want to say the word diet, because it's not, definitely not a diet, but you know what I mean. Nice. The kids start school tomorrow as well, so depending on my result tonight. Mm. Stuck in my throat there. <clears throat> mm. The yolks fell on the chips. I had actually forgot it was bank holiday yesterday, you know. As I said, Kenny's back to work tomorrow on my last video. And he says, I'm not back to work tomorrow, it's bank holiday. Forgetting you get like the bank holiday with the um, new year being on the weekend. Mm. The crinkle fries are really nice. Thank you everyone who's given us loads of suggestions. I've... Um, <coughs> Got a notepad and I've wrote down the ones that I really want to um, do. So it's got loads of suggestions in there. Um, don't get annoyed or offended if I don't do your suggestion, like, even if it takes us ages. Because <laughs> A, it has to depend on what I've got in my own cupboards, food-wise. B... <coughs> I have to actually fancy it to eat it. Um, so yeah, but the, in my book, and I'll, I'll keep going my book when I'm um, need some inspiration. Oh, God, Helen's is easy. What's another one? Um, mm, was it Martin Gallagher? He wanted um, simple as well. Jack potato filled with a buttery jack potato filled with beans and cheese. Loads of beans and cheese. So that's an easy one, which I think I'll do soon. Um, 
And I've also been craving it, um, like a potato with cheesy broccoli and bacon lardons in it and sour cream. Oh, so I think I'll do both of them. I'm going to make another one of them sandwiches. It was delicious. I think I might do a chips and egg one this time. These eggs are perfect. Put them on the bottom. Get a few chips in. Oh, they're falling out. Some beans in as well. Ready. Place on the top. Squish. Oh, yes. Double ended. <laughs> Down there because I keep knocking them with me bun. Definitely got the drip drip. I've done out all day apart from <coughs> pop some pills and and just chilled on the sofa. Sloppy. Kenny and Ellis have just come in. I text Ellis to see will you bring us some uh, soluble cocodamol in. It's like a tablet. It's like codeine and paracetamol. Just no matter what I've got, like if I'm ever ill, not that I'm ever ill, I've got I think I've got a good immune system. But no matter what I've got, a cold cold a soluble one because it gets straight in your system. One of them will make us feel right as rain. So he's just brought them in for us. Cause I only had paracetamol tablets and ibuprofen tablets. So the cold cold will do us the world of good. Egg yolks just dripping all over everything. Mm. I was going to do proper homemade chips, but I thought, now I'll just put them in the air fryer. It's quicker and healthier. Six like small little changes like that, isn't it? What will make a difference? Mm. It's delicious, this light, guys. If I am okay tonight, um, I told me then I'll go out with that tomorrow because Wednesday. She says I've got a list as long as my arm <laughs> for cleaning stuff and stuff she needs for Mazda.
just another thing doing this. I'm like really ready for me too. <laughs> I had it all ready for them coming in as well because I haven't been like, <clears throat> like I make the teas obviously, but like I haven't had it like down on the table ready for them walking in for a long time. Like I've usually like just started it or something. So because I was a bit uh, hungry, <laughs> I made sure them were served first and then I made mine. Kenny thought it was a lush. He says, oh, I haven't had this for ages. I went, I can it work the easy teas, <clears throat> the quick easy teas. Mm. I got the absolute shock of my life last night as well guys it was quite late I'm sure it was after 12 o'clock yeah um, I don't want to say too much because I want an actual like vlog what it is but I will tell you who it's got to do with, Yolanda. Oh my God. That's all I'm going to say. But I want to say thank you so, so much. And I'm going to do a big video of the thing I'm on about. And I'll like explain fully about it. But wow, <laughs> once I had got the message off her, I just couldn't get to sleep. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm trying not to say too much because I want it all in this one video. But. <laughs> That was, as Spencer says, bussing. He always says if something like, if something's nice, he goes, that was bussing. <laughs> you must watch the, um, I think it's like an American thing, isn't it? That was bussing. They're always on YouTube watching someone. <sighs> Will I try and even get that? Chip in the beans. Let us see if we can do this as well. Them beans are luscious with um, curry in. <laughs> Pardon me. Cumberland sausage, guys, you know I love them. Bite, last bite. Mm -hmm. Rocky's looking as if it's here. Leave some for me. Don't think so. Amazing. Absolutely delicious. Helen, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Thoroughly delicious, isn't it? It's like you forget about these simple meals and when you have them, you really enjoy them. Oh, I'm absolutely stuffed, guys. I'm going to go. I hope you like that video. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.